Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Jill and this video is going to be a reading vlog. And I'm going to be reading Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I got it last week, but I've been in the middle of finals, so I didn't have time to start it last week. But today I had an exam this morning and I have kind of a few days until my next exam so I'm gonna give myself a little break to read and I'm so so excited for this book and just before I get started this video will have spoilers so keep that in mind and I'm gonna get started right now I got to page, I read for an hour and I got to page 66. I'm on chapter nine now. And actually Alexis from Part of Your World, which is the only other Abby Jimenez book I read is in this too. She's best friends with our main character, Brianna. So the main female character, Brianna, she works in an ER and she really wants a promotion to be the chief doctor because the chief is supposed to be retiring sometime soon. And she's been there for like 10 years. So she thinks that pretty much she's gonna get the promotion. But of course, there's a new doctor that recently started and the guy that's about to retire is saying, oh, well, we should give him a chance to have the opportunity too. So I'm gonna wait a few months and then everyone can vote for who they want. But she's not too happy about that because she's like, bro, I've been here for 10 years, that's not really fair. And at this time, Brianna, she's really having a rough time because about a year ago, her and her husband, they separated and the divorce is going to be finalized within like the next few weeks. Her younger brother also has kidney failure and requires dialysis and stuff and he doesn't keep up with it very good. So he ends up in the hospital. So she's taking care of him and it's just a really stressful time for her. And with Jacob, because we actually get his POV too. I didn't know it was dual POV, but it is. And I really like it. Um, so Jacob, he's also having a tough time because it turns out that his ex-girlfriend is now about to get married to his brother, which is weird. His family is so worried about him with that whole situation and keeps kind of pestering him about, oh, maybe you should be dating, find someone new. And he kind of just wanted everyone off of his back and he lied and said that he did have a girlfriend and was seeing someone. So I don't know if this is going to turn into a fake dating situation. I kind of think it will be, but I kind of hope it won't at the same time. As we've discovered, I do like fake dating now more than I used to, but I feel like I just read a fake dating book, so I don't know if I want this one to be fake dating too. Also, Jacob was talking to one of his best friends, um, who's also a doctor, and, oh, they're all doctors. Did I say that before? I can't remember. But he was talking to his friend, and he wants to donate one of his kidneys because his mom got saved by someone who donated their kidney, so he kind of wants to pay it forward. And coincidentally, of course, Brianna's brother needs a kidney since he his kidneys failed. So I think what's going to happen is that he's going to end up donating his kidney to her brother. And Brianna doesn't exactly know this, but he's offered to get some tests done and whatnot to see if he would be a match for her brother to get like a kidney transplant. But now that I'm thinking about that, I feel like that's against some kind of thing. Because I feel like the patient would have to know. Maybe not. Actually, I don't really know. Also, there's a really good representation of mental health in this. From Jacob's POV and being inside his mind, you really get to understand why he did some of the actions that he did at the start of the book that may have come across as rude or disrespectful. And I think so far, Abby is doing like a really good job of representing anxiety. And I'm honestly just loving it so far and I'm just so excited to read more of it. But I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. I do have to start studying for my, what's my next exam? microbiology I have next week, early next week. So I'm gonna start studying for that now and maybe I'll pick this up later in the day. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. I read a little bit more. I'm now on page 105. Guys, I actually can't deal with, and everyone says this, but it's so true. Like, please do not talk about TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I don't care. I don't like when that's in books because even though it correlates to real life obviously I just am trying to escape the real world in a book so I just don't want to hear about it and also this is me just being super picky but 
they were talking about Instagram and then they were saying they were looking at each other's walls on Instagram and I don't know if it's just me but if I was on Instagram I would consider someone's profile not their wall it would be their profile like their in-feed profile and Brianna was describing how what's his name Jacob only had 20 something friends on Instagram but I wouldn't call it friends I would say it's followers so little things like that just kind of I mean I can look past it but it's eh, a little bit of a nick not gonna lie but otherwise I'm still really liking it I like their little notes back and forth from each other I think it's really cute okay so I just found out that Jacob was the perfect match to be the donor for Brianna's brother and he needs some dates to his like brother's wedding or like ex-girlfriend and brother's wedding so I really hope it's not like a I'll give your brother my kidney if you fake date me for these events because that's a little like that's weird but that's kind of what his friend is suggesting right now I don't want that to happen okay this is kind of restoring my faith because he said that he'll donate but he wants to do it anonymously so I'm thinking at the end of the book is when she finds out who the donor was and realizes that's him and is like oh my gosh so much more in love with you than I was before because of this type thing so I had to move to a window because my light died but yeah I just didn't like what the friend was suggesting really or what he was implying to do so yeah I feel like Jacob seems like a pretty stand-up guy and so far I really like him but also I could see it going both ways it could be she could be upset that he didn't tell her or she could be happy and appreciate that it was anonymous and that he didn't do it just because he wanted the recognition and stuff so I guess we'll find that out at the end her reaction and stuff guys I don't know about this so it turns out, oh, there's Paula Fricky in the background. It turns out that she finds out that Jacob was the donor, like literally in the next chapter. And she's actually really happy and she goes to find him and he's like, oh my gosh, how'd you find out? And it was one of the coworkers that he's close to that kind of, he kind of just spilled the beans by accident because he figured that she would know. But then... At this point, he kind of, I think he gets texts. Did he just like get texts from his parents or his family or something? And she's like, oh, what's going on? And he's like, actually, I kind of need a favor too. And this is when he proposes them to fake date. And I literally just said this in my video last week that I kind of love fake dating now. But I don't think I like it in this book. Because it just seems to me that him donating a kidney to her brother is like such a big deal obviously and like that's a huge surgery and then he's just kind of like okay but yeah i also need you to fake date for me to my brother and my ex-girlfriend's wedding events i'm still gonna give it a chance and obviously continue to read but it's kind of like sitting a little weird with me i'm not gonna lie but yeah okay i think now actually today i'm gonna be done because I really have to study but i'll come back tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow i can get a bunch done i'm like almost halfway through kind of so yeah i will see you then Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm on page 177 right now. I was just reading for a little bit. She met his family. It was kind of interesting. You know what's funny though is that her dad, sorry, her mom, sorry, his mom was saying, they explained how they were exchanging letters or whatever to each other. And his mom was saying, oh, that's so cute. He has such great writing. Guys, let me show you his writing. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but in my head, I feel like if you're saying someone has beautiful writing, and that's what she said, she said it was beautiful writing, I'm expecting like cursive or something, not just printed, but <laughs> it's not bad. But I wouldn't read that and be like, oh, it's such beautiful writing. Like it looks like normal printed writing. Anyway, I thought that was funny. Anyways, besides that, the family meeting went fine and, but now 
Brianna is like, we really have to put this to the next level to convince your family that we're actually together because the mom is like a relationship therapist or something, like doctor and stuff. And she's like, we have to be able to convince them so we have to hang out all the time. We have to tell HR that we're dating and t let people at work know and we have to keep up this facade at work. And we have to hang out after, like in our off time and stuff. I found that honestly a little random, but yeah, they're like hanging out a lot now and they seem to really be liking each other and each other's company. Yeah, I mean, right now everything seems fine and they seem like they're gonna date. Well, they pretty much are dating. But yeah, otherwise not too much to update. Why do I get, I feel like, I don't know why I just thought of this, but what if he is for whatever reason not able to give the kidney to her brother and then that's like the third act conflict and that is going to like break them up for a little bit i feel like that is a possibility that could happen anyways i will be back with an update soon so there was kind of a conflict not really but so pretty much brianna feels like he is still in love with his ex and isn't emotionally available for her and even though he like adores her and then it goes the other way too so he thinks that she is emotionally unavailable because of what happened to her past and her ex her last marriage and everything so and she was literally said like i don't want to go in a relationship ever again so because of that he thinks that she is like not interested in him at all other than for this arrangement with the fake dating and everything but he's wrong too because she is also obsessed with him so they're both just too scared to tell it to each other but they both really like each other and i only have like 100 pages ish left i'm on page 285 and i'm pretty sure there's like 380 something pages i honestly might just finish it today and i'm actually really enjoying it more so than i thought i was going to after the whole fake dating thing i was like i don't know i feel especially right now i've been reading so many fake dating books so I was like, uh, another, and then with the whole kidney thing, I was like, that's kind of weird. But I'm actually really liking it and enjoying the book, so I've read like most of it today, and yeah, I just want to finish it. Okay, I just finished, and I really enjoyed it. Even though there was a trope that I personally don't really like, it was the accidental pregnancy trope that happened, which I did not expect at all. I really don't like generally when that happens, but it was okay here. Overall, I feel like I would give this, I'm stuck between like a 3.5 or 4 or like a 3.75. I'm not sure exactly yet because I felt like Brianna at the end was just so back and forth, which I understand why because of her past and everything because the men in her life previously were just, they treated her so bad. So I understand, but I also just felt really bad for Jacob because he was just so in love with her and she was just saying, no, 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 I have to move out again. Like I can't do this anymore. Overall, it was a happy ending and I'm glad they were together. I truly love Abby Jimenez's writing and I want to read so many more books from her because she has a bunch of books. She has like the friend zone, the happy ever after playlist and one called life's too short. There's like a bunch listed here. So I definitely want to read more from her and overall this book, even though there were some aspects that I wasn't a huge fan of and there were like, I guess like ups and downs, that sounds so dramatic but really there were, I overall would recommend it and if you have the opportunity, pick it up and give it a try. But that's going to be the end of this reading vlog. If you've read yours truly, let me know in a comment down below your thoughts on it or if you have just any general book recommendations, I would love to hear them. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more book content. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!